Hello and welcome back to another edition of What's Moving in the Forex Market brought to you by myself, Kurt Capra, and Pristine Trading. Keep in mind, as always, that all comments are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. And also, Pristine, as we've mentioned in previous videos, offers an excellent series of webinars throughout each and every single week. Here's a sample of some of the webinars we've got coming up this week, starting with tomorrow, Tuesday, September 15th at 4.15. We have another follow-up webinar at 5.15 on Tuesday as well, and then we have some others later on in the week Thursday. So definitely check out the upcoming schedule by visiting www.pristine.com and uh, register for any that interest you. Hopefully we'll see you there. All right, so let's take a look at where things are at here, starting as we always do in the upper left with Euro US dollar. We uh, really have been chopping around a bit. As you can see, there was a pullback here, which started with a pretty sharp wide range reversal bar. Um, so price came down, tried to move up, failed initially at, at making that push, came down a little deeper into support, and has now been slowly working its way back up took out this prior high last week so naturally there's going to be a little bit of an increase in supply here that's causing a little bit of a weakness here to start this week so we'll see what happens but overall we are sideways to slightly up so we do want to have a more bullish bias bigger picture but uh, in the short term we are as you can see here seeing a little bit of red for the beginning parts of today we'll see how that changes Looking at the weekly, though, we see that we're really still just whipping around here within this sideways range. So bottom line is from a longer term perspective, it's not entirely clear where we're going here with Euro US dollar. If it breaks to the upside and closes above the top of the range, then we would look for price to move higher. If we can't, you know, it's just going to be a question of, well, when does it break down? Uh, so at this point, again, it, it's just about trading the smaller moves on the intraday time frames because, again, the daily really isn't set up with any wonderful looking pattern or any clear concrete direction. So we'll see how it all plays out. Moving on over to Aussie dollar, US dollar in the middle upper chart, we can see that it's slowly been retracing a bit here within a downtrend overall and it is into some resistance so the upside is a bit limited um, especially as far as a swing type of basis is concerned um, so we'll have to see i mean we, we could easily see some kind of failure to move higher today tomorrow wh whenever it may be just know that we're into resistance within a downtrend so this is not really a time to be looking to get long you know you may find some intraday opportunities where you can pull a little bit of profit out that's fine but as far as a daily point of view this is not the area to be looking at any kind of long scenario uh, because again we're into this resistance so caution from the daily from the intraday charts you know what whatever the trend is is the direction in which we're going to want to go with in that moment moving on over new zealand dollar us dollar again you can see this one too in a downtrend and kind of just chopping around but still weaker than aussie dollar us dollar so bearish bias here based on the daily trend in fact it looks as though we're going to need to come back down to these previous lows from last week and Really, I mean, based on the trend, we should be going lower. So definitely a bearish bias here. Nothing that clean to really give me the uh, excitement to play from the daily time frame. But if you can find some intraday weakness that you can get into at a good spot and the daily is closing week, that may be enough to at least hold part of a position for the coming days to see where it can go so again with a, a, a great intraday entry and a weak daily close may be enough to hold for what could be a much larger move lower here this week and in the coming weeks moving on down us dollar yen this one's really just been getting whipped around a bit uh, of late so it is into this prior high area you can see these topping tails this general struggle 
to get through this area here. And so we'll, we'll see what happens. I mean, for as much as it has struggled to move higher, it really hasn't shown the ability to move lower. Uh, therefore, as I said a moment ago, we've been dealing with this whippy type of behavior in U.S. dollar yen. So um, really, uh, you know, just again, playing the intraday trend, seeing what's setting up. If you get a nice clean trend, looking to play that. But from a daily, it seems that the picture is a bit muddled. It's not really that clear at this point. So we're going to want to wait for a little more clarity. Overall, again, we did we do have this weakness, which is the way in which we want to lean but again until we can really start to see that momentum coming in we want to be careful about uh, taking any positions based on the daily it's again one of those scenarios where if you can find a great intraday entry play it hold on to it if you like how it's behaving and then if you get a weak close based on the daily that may be enough reason to hold it at least for the next day or two so um, that's kind of the name of the game here right now. U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar continues to uh, remain in this daily uptrend. And you can see here last two, two and a half weeks, we've been dealing with a lot of up and down volatility within this range. But again, it is within the context of an uptrend on the daily. So uh, buying down at support definitely makes sense. Looking for any support level once tested to produce a move higher makes sense when you have a daily uptrend in place All right so that that pretty much is is the case here for us dollar canadian dollar nothing compelling uh as far as the daily pattern unless it breaks out in which case you might consider buying the breakout but until that happens it's all about playing the intraday levels of supply and demand because we are range bound so you can definitely make a nice little bit of money just playing tops and bottoms but until then uh or or until we get the breakout or breakdown for that matter there's really nothing else to to do and finally pound us dollar this one is transitioning or potentially transitioning into a new downtrend this move lower that we saw over the course of the last two and a half weeks or so has really damaged what was previously you know trying to break out i mean we got the breakout we had discussed that in previous videos which you can go and take a look at in in the archive section but we got the breakout and then that failed we got this wide range bar as many traders got shocked and then price fell, right? fell through that support. And so now, as I said, this is in that transition area where now we're getting this retracement and lower highs. So the bias here for pound US dollar is to be looking for it to move lower. Right? We're going to want to look for this to move lower over the next coming days and even weeks potentially. So the bias here definitely bearish. And that's what we're going to want to look for both from the daily point of view as well as intraday point of view. So out of all of these that we've kind of reviewed here so far, the one with the cleanest looking daily pattern at the moment is pound US dollar. So that, that's where we're going to want to focus a bit of our attention. Uh, but again, that being said, you can certainly look to these others for opportunity as well, because they are generally speaking in areas where they should be reacting to either supply or demand and that's really what's going to drive any price movement and so uh, you know overall we'll see what this week has in store for us but as always it's about following the process following the plan and the money will come so stay patient stay disciplined and stay confident and hopefully we'll see you in, a, in an upcoming webinar right, until the next time make sure you uh, comment in the comment section below if you have any questions you can Ask them there or directly email us and we'll talk to you soon.